Okay, part three of the Rune Pethro. Like I said, uh, like I was saying in the other video, Pethro, um, when it comes to this rune, a lot of this rune is unknown. Like, there isn't a whole lot of, uh, you know, there isn't a whole lot known about this rune, actually. So, it can represent a variety of things, just depending on how people see it, how they experience it, um, what experiences come about with this rune. A lot of people just think, oh, you know, for some reason they think that it's just all about mysteries and seeing the unknown. And Well, uh, that is true, but like I was saying in part two, you know, that's not just all that this rune has to offer. It can um, offer hidden wisdom and it can also help you in your time uh really help you in your time and need it with protection and it can indeed help you against uh, magic as well if someone is trying to use uh i guess energy in ener energetic forces against you uh it can help you it can help you know completely negate that and it can help you rise above the situation so long as you're, you know, in the right in the situation. But that comes with all the runes. If you're doing something, you know, stupid, trying to do something stupid with the runes or just doing something stupid while you had the runes on them, it's going to backfire on you, just so you know. But that's just the way of the runes. I was also thinking here that the rune represents, in my eyes, shelter. It represents freedom and, uh, like, I guess, underground, too. Like, it can um, help you, even though you're underground, it helps you see through the underground. It helps you see the light through the tunnel, so to speak. Um, that is one way of... In interpreting it it can really help you I also see that it can really help you uh, bear, like you know bury yourself not in like literally but in a metaphoric way it can help you you know hide against enemies or uh, against unfavorable circumstances like for example it can help you it can help make you undetected uh, towards I guess, you know, scumbags, you know, for example, trying to, um, I don't know, just do scumbag stuff, or I guess, or just trying to, you know, destroy your life or whatever, it can help you stay under the radar, as long as, you know, you're in the right, of course. And as I said with my runic generation messages, just because a rune can offer you something doesn't mean that it's gonna. Uh, and doesn't mean that it's all, you know, that it's omniscience. Uh, om, om, uh, Damn it. I know I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, hopefully someone knows. Hopefully people know what I'm trying to say here. It's not all powerful. It's not. It's not. Uh, the runes are very, very powerful, but they can decide to abandon you, if you will. If you're doing something bad or if a lesson is needed. So just keep that in mind. Runes aren't going to be, you know, a end-all, be-all for you. Especially if you're uh, a person that has a lot of learning that needs to be done. Hell, I think this is turning into a, a generational message <laughs> again. But I'm going to try to stay on the path of the rune video. And yes, this video probably will cut out. And I'm probably going to have to make a part four because of my trashy, trashy storage. Because last time uh, it, cu it cut out at, at uh, five minutes. So I'm going to have to kind of ramp this up a little bit. Um, but yeah, just keep in mind that this rune Pethro can represent a variety of things and it can help you in your dark times it can help you see the light it can help you ascend 
but with that, since uh, my storage is, is now saying it's running very low, please subscribe, share, and check out the other videos because, you know, they're a part of this. So, you know, but I'll see you guys on the next one.